everybody, and welcome back to Rock the Rep. This week we are focusing on the music of Journey, and today we are working on the song Lights. We're going to focus on three tools today. One, do you lift your lip or do you lower it? Two, the three Steve Perry vowel shapes, and three diphthongs, two vowel sounds together. First, lift the lip or lower the lip. If you will lift your lip on the higher parts and lower it, on the lower parts, you're gonna find this a little easier to sing. So a lot of times when we sing tall vowels, we tend to think drop. But with this, I actually want you to think elongate this way. So rather than going down, we're going up. So let's compare. I'm gonna do the first part of the second verse and I'm gonna let my elongation happen via jaw drop. So you think you're lonely, well my friend, I can get it done, but it doesn't feel great. So what would happen if we elongated this way? So you think you're lonely. Well, my friend, I'm lonely too. So much easier to say. So play with elongating this way rather than this way. See what happens. Number two, Steve's three shapes primarily are wah, wah, and whoa. Let me demonstrate how this tool works. I am going to shape the bridge using my wah, my wah, or my wo. Now, if it's a word that sits more mid, then I'm gonna go with wah. If it's a word that actually goes a little taller, might do that drop jaw, I'm gonna go a little more wah, lift the lip, and go more into my goose honk, aw. And then if it's a little bit lower and needs a fuller sound, I'm gonna go into wo. Here's an example. When wah, So play with your wah, your wah, and your wo, and see what happens there. The third and final tool are our pop rock diphthongs. Now when we put two vowel sounds together in pop rock, usually we're gonna lean on the first sound and lay off the second one. We're gonna focus on the my, my, my section. Now here's the thing. If Steve actually sang it that way, oh, oh, my, 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 that just sounds ridiculous. That's how we say it, but that's not how he sings it. Oh, oh, my, 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 my. So how do you do that? You can't close the jaw. When you close the jaw, that's where it goes into that really bright place. Well, you have to keep the jaw open, but let the tongue lift the, and finish the word for you. Whoa, oh, oh, my, 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 my. So I'm using the back of my tongue and letting it lift a little bit to get the closure. An exercise that you can do if you have a hard time getting your tongue and your jaw to think separately are tongue push-ups. So you're gonna drop your jaw and you're just gonna sing an e ah, e ah, e ah, e ah, e ah. And your focus is on holding that jaw still while the tongue moves up and down. Whoa, whoa, my, 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 my. I can do that because right there, I was able to hold my jaw, my, and I can finish the word, you saw that just there, with my tongue moving up to lift to close it out. Keeping the jaw open is what allows me to stay in that fuller sound. So practice your tongue push-ups. It's gonna get your jaw and your tongue to think separately, which is something that you want to be able to do inside the pop rock technique. So there you go. Those are three tools you can apply right away to make singing this song just a little bit easier. And if you like that, make sure you check back tomorrow for our final journey song of the week, Separate Ways. We'll see you then.